Showtime. <laughs> Watch, I'm not going. Guys, it's time. Now, where's Jake and Serenity? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Now presenting your hosts, Jake Parr and Serenity Foreman. Hello, Jaguars. Welcome to our second episode of The Den, Candy View's very own talk show, hosted by me, Serenity Foreman. And me, Jake Parr. Today, we have a very special guest from you, for you, Izzy Underdonk. She is a varsity pommy, and we're going to give her a really good view about cheer and all of the stuff that she does for our school. But first, we have a video filmed and edited by Hayden Brown. Take a look at that. Today we're doing Seeking with Seeker. We got Mr. Seeker right here. He's gonna be looking for these five right here. Hi, Christy Sartano, your junior assistant principal. Lynn Reed, your Candy View High School principal. Cassie Hard, your ninth grade, oh, 10th grade assistant principal. <laughs> Andrea Hudson, 12th grade assistant principal. Scott Harris, a teacher that just got talked into doing this. Week. Hey, what's up guys? These guys all here got two minutes to hide. They can hide in upstairs A, upstairs B, downstairs A. So let's get going. So, I feel like on some level I've been built for this my whole life, the last time seeker. I'm, I'm, I'm so ready to go. However, this is a little bit traumatic. I was not that great at hide and seek as a kid, despite my last name. But uh, I, I, feel like, I feel like I'm good. I got a good strategy. My biggest concern right now is honestly Miss Hudson. She's very, what's the right word, compact. So she can get into a lot of weird places. I'm also a little bit concerned about Miss Reed because she's been here the longest. Let's see what we got. Upstairs, I'm gonna start upstairs A and kind of do a sweep, I think is what I, what I want to do. You know We're gonna go upstairs A first. So upstairs A, I, I think the other hard part for me is I'm like locked into my classroom. I don't really leave, so I don't know the forts all that well. Military training, I watch a lot of uh, FBI, watch a lot of, uh, well, these are two awful people. Watch a lot of uh, military shows where they sweep rooms. So I feel like training wise, I'm about as good as it, you know, about as good as you can be. It smells kind of weird. These are all good. These are all good. Oh, for two. Help us out. Have you seen any administration come You are here? looking for? If you want to help us out. My See, I'm worried about these covers. There's no way. If the other ones, they couldn't fit in them. There's nowhere to hide here. See, this is locked, so that's off limits. This is good. We've got, we got classrooms everywhere. So now downstairs A, right? Upstairs B, or upstairs A, I'm sorry. It's gonna go downstairs A. Let's see what we got under the stairs. Would be a great place to hide. Meanwhile. So I am really bad at staying in one place and I like to take risks. Oh, look who I found. <laughs> no, we haven't seen it. But they, they asked, he asked, he was like, has anyone seen administration? And they're like, no, why would they? If I had, why would I tell them? See, this is teacher's lounge. This is, this is, uh, you guys have never seen this area. Teacher's lounge, teacher's lounge. Nothing back here. I'm kind of thinking somebody went in the nurse's lounge. Yeah, we're looking for, you seen any teacher? You got it on camera, right? Yeah. Let's do, let's see it. Can you pull up A building? This is cheating, but this is not in the rules. So I think I'm good. They'd be in uh, B or downstairs A building. Do we have footage of that anywhere? No, no, we need, oh, that's Miss Reed. Where is that? A, a building? Yeah. So she's moving. That's, is that in the rules? She's, 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 she's in there right Where's by the back door. Okay, so that, wait, back door? Okay, this is totally not cheating. This was not specified in the rules. So I'm gonna check. So Miss Reed, I'm coming for you. Here we go. Here we go. 
Bruh. Now technically, do you want to take the stairs again or take the yeah, elevator? Yeah, we could take, take what? Take the, the elevator. I don't know where the elevator is. Ah, we're good. We're going, we're going outdoors. So Missy, I feel like she cheated. We got her on camera. I saw it on camera. She was moving spot. I don't know if that's in the rules or not. Hide and seek. Somebody, hit the button. I've never taken the elevator, can't be. This is a fun, new experience for me. It could be it. Moment of truth. I feel like a kid on Christmas Day. There we go. We got two. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, elevator. 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 This this feels this feels good. I got three more. Three more to go. We're gonna go back upstairs because I know Miss Reed's up there. I know she's there. <laughs> I know something you don't know. We already got two. We got two. Say anything. You're not telling me. I got. I got like three minutes. Can you give me like a warmer, colder? Nope. I gotta get to these part. I might have to let Miss Reed pop the hood. Maybe. It's been almost like 10 minutes and I still haven't gotten caught yet. Cool, here we are, beef court. This is where it happened. Where's your friend Heidi? Science class. Gotta be in the science class. I've never been in here. What is it? Being in the I mean, where else can you be? This is locked, I can't get in there. That's off limits. Could you be outside? I can't get in there anyway. That's it? Woo! <laughs> I was so close. I was so close. I think it helps when you're you're not very tall. But I just got into this little guy. Although I did not, my strategy didn't work. I didn't spend enough time in the B building. I was set. I don't know, Miss Reed though. There was, there was definitely cheating. Although I cheated oh. to get the information. I really don't think anyone else is up here. They have to be an eight. So I checked the security camera footage. Did you really? Yeah. And we saw Reed walking down the hall here, but then I couldn't find her. So she Wasn't was moving. That cheating? No, that's it was not safe in the world, so I think I'm good. Hi! <laughs> I win. This is so frustrating. Where but no, first. Well, you, you cheated. Let's be honest. Because you were running around to different places. This is hide and seek stable. It's not like kick the can or something like well, that. Well no, hide and seek, you did not verify the details <laughs> at one point. I was like, is this cheating? Absolutely. Yeah. We have do we have the video? <laughs> So she's moving. That's, is that in the rules? Look, Mr. Harris and I have a hard time. Mr. Harris, Mr. Harris. I did not. We have a hard time staying in the same place. Like yeah. it's more exciting if you get up and you move. I was in with Mr. Morrissey and Miss Batekas. The first time I came. Yeah. yeah. Yes, the first time you came in. My heroes. <laughs> And I didn't get video of you, unfortunately. I was afraid you'd catch me. There he is. Uh, Look how happy I am. That is. Please excuse the interruption. This is Mr. Seeker speaking. Uh, I am just here to announce to the whole school I am the worst hide and seek finder, seeking with seeker. I found two out of the five. Uh, wasn't good, but we'll, be, we'll do it again. Part two. I would like to welcome on is your dog. The pom to come on about what she loves to do. Guys. Hi, Izzy. Hello. <laughs> how are you doing today? Good. How are you guys? I, well, I'm doing great. I don't know about Jake, but I'm doing pretty good. So <laughs> I think Jake has a couple questions to ask you. Okay. Yeah. So how long have you been dancing? I started dancing when I was three years old. Wow. That's wild. Yeah. So like pretty much since you like could start walking pretty much. Yeah. I've So basically I've been dancing my whole life and then... I took like about a two year break from like seventh to eighth grade and then I started back when I came to high school. So yeah. So in high school dance, is that like a is that a pretty big like adjustment from all of the dancing you've done prior? Um like so we have our dance program and then we have the palm program and when I first started dance back um at school it wasn't like the same because it's like early levels and you have to work through those levels. But um, in the next year when you can try out for a performance dance, it wasn't that big of an adjustment at all. So you pretty much were prepared going into it. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
Um, and with that preparation, have you ever felt like you weren't prepared for like one of your really big dance competitions? Like you, you walk out on stage and you're like, crap, I, I just don't know what I'm doing. Um, no, I'm pretty much prepared, but it's always that rush of adrenaline before you go on stage where the, like it freaks you out. Um, but then once you're on, like, you know what you're doing. It's just before there's, I always have a little freak out. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny, actually. So you mentioned that you're on Candy View's Palm team. So yeah. how did you get involved in that? Um, so originally, I didn't, like, know when tryouts were for Palm. And I was going to try out for soccer because I didn't know when the um, Palm tryouts were. But then my friends were doing it. And then I had my dad email to do a tryout. So I did a late tryout with just me and this other girl. And then I got into Palm. And then I've just been doing that ever since. That's actually cool. So what's your favorite thing about being on Palm? My favorite thing about Palm, um, it's like, I would say learning all the dances. I don't know. I think it's enjoyable. The performing part is scary to me, but I love like our practices. And then like the community you build, like the friendships you make along the way. And then I like competition season because we get to go to California. So yeah, <laughs> that's fun. So you mentioned performing, so you perform at like pep assemblies and football games and stuff. How is that? <laughs> um, so football games are not like nerve wracking at all just because like you're so far away from everyone. Basketball games, it's a bit scary how close up you are, but like at the same time, like you have to just notice like no one's really paying attention to you. And then pep assemblies, it's not scary at all because there's just like so many faces in front of you, you don't even like realize. Yeah. And then you're just like focused on what you're doing rather than everyone else. Yeah, so you're just in, in your own little zone. Yeah, in your own world, basically. And back to all of your years prior in dance, um, over all of those years, what would you say your favorite style of dance is? Like out of like hip hop or like ballet, tap dance, like any style of dance, what would you say your favorite is? Um, I would say my favorite is ballet. I like how graceful it is. Um, I, I don't know, I like the technical issue of it. And with that ballet, have you have you ever incorporated like ballet or anything into your palm routines? Like, have you had your palm director choreograph something with ballet in mind? No, no, we haven't. But like, ballet is basically the foundation of dance. Like, that's where you get your technique and your form and all from. So even though it's like not included, like it stems from there. So there's just influence from everything from mm -hmm. ballet. Besides like hip hop. <laughs> yeah. um, and we talked about your favorite one. What would you say your least favorite style of dance is? Like you can't stand it at all. Stand it? Um, I used to not like hip hop. Not because like I don't like it. It's just I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. But recently after, you guys know the choreo that Haley made? It was at the assembly. I was... I, I actually did pretty good on that one, and Haley was a great teacher and stuff, so that made me like hip-hop a little bit more. So as of now, then, I would say tap. I just can't, I can't tap. So that's why I don't like it. That's, that's really cool. I like your, your enthusiasm. Like, even your dance styles that you don't really like, you still find yeah. a way to go with it. So uh, I just have one more question to ask you, just to close it out, you know? Okay, yeah. What do you love most here at Candy View? Um, I would say the community, the people you meet and make friendships along the way. That's what I like most. Well, thank you very much for coming on and sharing your time with us and talking about Palm and yeah, your course. dance experience. Um, thank you so much. We have a video? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's look at that. Let's look at the video.
thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much and all of your dance and pomp routines that you've brought to our school to really show like what our, our dance team is about and how much you guys are passionate in what you love. Well, thank you very much, Jaguars. That's all we have for you today, so see you next time.